ladies and gentlemen, vote number 350, final junior man, white category, 70 kilograms, charges, Romania, Indonesia, Hungary. So here are judges Romania, ahead of the 70 kilogram Romania, light middleweight final, they're here from Romania, Romania Indonesia, Romania, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Romania, and Tunisia. Afghanistan. Sireli Marza Sernair. Inch Pese Tramadruzuna. Eva Spes. Patras Tek Dimavorel. Hayastani Nerka Tsushin. In the red corner, please welcome from Armenia, Samvel Siramargyan. So approaching the boxing ring is Samvel Siramargyan of Armenia. This is his fourth bout here in this contest for world championship gold. He's prevailed on three unanimous decisions Pavel so far his opponent preparing for his fifth bout in the final and that is Fabian Pavel Urbanski of Poland 2022 Pavel European Pavel Championship Pavel silver Pavel medalist at 66 Pavel kilograms Pavel and earlier this year he took Pavel European Pavel Championship Pavel bronze Pavel at 70 Pavel kilograms Pavel for his opponent in the red corner, Sam Belt, said Magian. He is a European junior, He's a European junior participant, losing in the round Pavel of 16 Pavel at 70 Urbanski. kilograms earlier this year to the eventual silver medalist. Ahmed Kochi of Albania. So Mr. Mohammed Sultani of Afghanistan is our referee. And we are underway. Three two-minute rounds scheduled for the 70 kilogram light middleweight final between boxers from Armenia and Poland, an all Southpaw affair. The boxer wearing red, who is looking to get onto the front foot is Samvel Semargaryan. His opponent, Fabian Pavel Adbanski, two-time European Championship medalist over the last couple of years. Taking a silver last year at 66 kilograms and a bronze earlier this year. And it's a marauding start. Marcelo Margian. to tuck up between high-held gloves and drive his way forwards. Left cross landed, followed by an ambitious hook which was fired in. Straight punches is what Urbanski is looking for. There you see him boxing effectively off the ropes, targeting the torso of the advancing figure wearing red. Oh, now that's hitting on the break from Seramargian. My goodness, not stepping back and letting the punches fly after that command. Good right, left to the body from, Fab, from Urbanski. So Urbanski just made to fall short with his attempted right jab, left cross combination. And again, look at the composure being demonstrated. And wonderful punch picking to body and head, ending with a southpaw right jab, and then a corkscrew southpaw right jab from Urbanski. Now he's turned to the orthodox stance for the first time in the contest. Switch hitting in a depth fashion, and that eye-catching conclusion to the round could well be enough to tilt it in favor of Urbanski. 
because both men were enjoying success prior to that. But that burst of punches without reply to both body and head was significant indeed from Urbanski. I have to think it's enough to give him the round, but what say the five scoring judges? And Urbanski has taken it on a 4-1 split. Judge number one from Romania, preferring the work of the man from Armenia in red. So into the second round we go. Coming out as a southpaw boxer to begin this second frame after ending the first round as an orthodox boxer is Urbanski and he's finding the range behind that lead right jab once again, able to bob and weave his way, his way away from the incoming fire being slung in by Sida Margian. Bolo left hand to the body was landed with the palm turned upwards. There's the same shot once again. It's a daring shot to throw. Could it just leave the chin in harm's way? But he's coming in with such rapidity from Urbanski. And Sida Margian isn't able to get his own offense away as he's picked off by a two shot combination once again as he continues to shoot two shot salvos down the middle. Sida Margian, when he's really being reduced to huffing and puffing and trying to muscle his way into range. But when he gets there, well, Urbanski invariably goes away. There's that same shot once again. He's landed it repeatedly. Good left hook to the body landed by Sidamargian. Perhaps his best shot of the entire contest as a cracking right hook lands out of the south poor stance. Urbanski aware of that and got momentarily onto the front foot. Do you see him reaching for a right hook to the body? Sidamargian looking to impose his physicality wrestles his man to the canvas you can see that these are two fantastically conditioned teenagers it's gonna be big boys when they grow up that's for sure this is 70 kilograms light middleweight just 15 and 16 these boxers and already possessing well-developed musculature bobbing and weaving his way forwards now in far more dynamic fashion instead of margian but look at how he's picked off by that right uppercut didn't plant his feet, Urbanski, and get leverage on the shot, but it was a scoring shot nonetheless. Well, another very good round of boxing. Credit to Samvel Sedamargian because he tried to dial up the tempo after conceding the first round on a 4-1 split, but he was picked off by punches like that. But he did get closer in the closing stages. Landed a single left hook to the body, landed a right hook out of his southpaw stance. So how will the judges score that second round? This man was edged out on a 4-1 split in the first, but produced a competitive response. But it's not been enough to see him take a share of the round. Edged out, well not edged out, beaten on a clean sweep of the cards by Urbanski. So finding himself in a position where he's in the contest but not doing enough to win the contest is Samvel Sedamargian. And for four of the five scoring judges, Urbanski leading 20 points to 18 after two completed rounds of boxing. So as we go into the third and final round, the home boxer Samvel Sedamargian, participant in the European Junior Championships earlier this year where he was eliminated at the round of 16 bested by the eventual silver medalist from Albania while well, he's got himself a proverbial mountain to climb here lost the first round on a 4-1 split I thought he competed more effectively in the second round but was bested on a clean sweep of the cards and that's because Urbanski improved his quality as well and now you see him look at that uppercut then dipping away from the attempted counter by Sidamargian and Urbanski as you'd expect from a reigning two-time continental medalist managing this third and final round magnificently 
so composed under fire. There's a flashing right hook from Sidamargian, but again, look at how long he's taking to get back into range. He's got to quicken those feet, throw caution to the wind, and close the gap now with two and three phase attacks, because if he tries to box at distance with this man, this is where he's got to work away. You can see he's built for short and mid-range work, broad, muscular back and shoulders, and he has got to land those marauding attacks by trying to get Urbanski to hold his feet. But Urbanski, look at how he's able to spin off the line and dip away from incoming fire. Left hook not too far away from Sidamard again, but he's got to free his hands here and quarry away to the body. Well, Urbanski doing an outstanding job controlling the tempo of this contest. And every time Sidamard again enjoys some success, He's picked off by a counter shot. There's Sidamargian punching at the type of tempo that he's going to require, but it's going to be too little, too late. And Fabian Pavel Erbanski has produced a very clever display. Let's not get it twisted. He racked up enough insurance in the first two rounds that he was able to repel the hard charging Stan Bell Sidamargian in the third and final round. And he is going to be declared as the victor and the world champion here to cap off what has been a fantastic calendar year of 2023. Sam Bell said to Margian, well, he left it too late. And the tempo that he produced in the third round, he needed that having been edged in the first on a 4-1 split. And perhaps that's what his coaches are telling him. Once in a lifetime opportunity to compete at a global championships in front of a home crowd. And Sidamargian just not able to get it going quickly enough. No such difficulties for Abansky. Let's get the verdict. That should see his hand raised as the victor. And there is confirmation of a split decision victory for Fabian Pavel Abansky. The man from Poland is the Junior World Boxing Championship gold medalist. He takes it on a 4-1 split against the home boxer Sam Belsedemargian of Armenia. Bitter disappointment for him to be bested in the final at a home world championship. But hopefully he will reflect on this and take great encouragement and inspiration for, from this for his future endeavors. But the here and now, the 2022 European Championship silver medalist at World Championship gold to his burgeoning trophy collection at the conclusion of a wonderful display of predominantly Southpaw boxing. Showed his switch here.